The most important thing to think about cloud is the types of services you can find. So you can find software as a service. Uh, so those are the kind of applications that run in the uh, cloud infrastructure. Uh, you have the platform as a, as a service, so that this is where applications can be deployed into that infrastructure in the cloud. And, and finally, the infrastructure itself is a service, so you can actually gain access to computing resources. So, so for instance, the Amazon cloud, things of that nature, which, which yield computing resources so that you can have the equivalent of very strong storage, very strong processing power, and a, and a panoply of applications if you merge all three of the services. Uh, I'm absolutely not going to touch this cloud at all, but I did want to point out that the complexity is actually far greater than what I've gone over. So this is just taxonomy. You can imagine what sits behind it is even more complex. When you think about cloud, and that goes back to the kind of the, the subtitle for my talk is what's, what's new is old is new again. Uh, cloud really is, is something that has evolved over time. Uh, you, many people often reference some of the the uh, old time-sharing technology as kind of the origin of where some of these concepts came out. Then you had application service providers, uh, hosting services, software as a service, and now the combination of these things may culminate in something called cloud. Um, a number of people uh, have questioned whether cloud is more of a marketing term than it is a new technology because it's in many ways an amalgam of existing technologies. Um, a number, of the, a number of the services enabled in cloud are services that have existed already uh, in a cloud context. But we do have to recognize that there are some new models in terms of how it's used. Certainly the ease of use of the cloud has, has, is different than, than the old time sharing uh, systems and the availability and the scope of what's available uh, is different.